Hello, Harry Bang here. You're now at the final walkthrough. Wow, closer to getting that key each and every day. Hey, now, not, not all of these are going to apply, but there's some good general instructions for you. At the final walkthrough, remember now, it isn't a home inspection. You've already done that by now. But I do want you to take your contract with you. You might need to refer to it or any addendums that have repairs on them. Also understand this, in many markets, the buyers and the seller never actually meet in person. But if everyone is agreeable to it, um, then you can perform the final walkthrough in the presence of the seller. That way, he or she can give you some of the character traits about the house. So you have a better idea of what's in the home and what to expect and how things around that house actually operate. They can provide you some color on the history of the home. And number four, if the home is vacant, you need to, it's even more important for you to do a final walkthrough since your last visit. For we don't know instances if somebody might have left a faucet dripping or running inadvertently, causing water to damage. So it's essential you do this final walkthrough. Um, you want to take along a checklist of things to do during the final walkthrough, and our office will supply that um, to you. You want to check the exterior of the home, especially if there have been strong winds or rains or storms since your last time, and take a good look at that roof also. You want to turn on all lights, fixtures, on and off. Um, make sure the seller hasn't removed any fixtures, such as a chandelier that they decided they want to take, that they had initially agreed to leave behind. You want to check all your major appliances, make sure the refrigerator is getting closed. Turn the heat and the air conditioner on and off. We want to make sure it's functioning. Um, turn on the water faucet. Check for leaks underneath the sink. Um, test the garage door open if your home has one. You want to um, do simple things like flush the toilets and <coughs> open and close all of the windows and doors. At least check the windows for damage. Make sure you don't have any cracked window panes. You want to do a visual spot check of the ceilings and walls and floors for any type of water damage on the ceiling or water on the floors. You want to turn on and off the garbage disposal. You also want to check that status on any agreed upon repairs to make sure that they've been done. Um, check the screens and stone windows if they've been stored to make sure you know where they are. Um, some homes actually have the shutters in place for hurricanes. Uh, you want to look in the storage areas to make sure no trash or unwanted items remain behind, no old paint cans or hazardous materials. You don't want the seller leaving that um, behind for you to take care of. And you want to do a check of the grounds. Um, sometimes sellers may, may have dug up or taken a special plant with them that had some sentimental value. So taking a few minutes for this one last inspection is a good investment on your part. But after all, you don't want to spend the first few weeks in your home cleaning up or making unexpected repairs. Always the day of closing, do a final walk around the home. That's your that's you as the buyer. That's your responsibility to do that last walk around the house to make sure there's no recent vandalism going on. So you can expect very soon after this walkthrough to receive the instructions for the final location where you're going to be. You should be receiving a map along with that on what time you're going to be there. And um, you should be receiving your video on wire fraud also coming up very soon. Hey, this is Harry Bang, your radio realtor of Bang Home Advisor Group. Don't forget to check us out and have your friends to check us out every Friday morning, 745 on WOKB 1680 on the radio dial. So who do you know next that's looking to buy or sell in the next three to six months? You can refer to our real estate team. Hey, Harry Bang, have a great day.